Yeah, I thought I would just share my experience with uh, my HP OfficeJet 8500 Pro Series printer. Um, and what I'll just go, come right out of the gate and just tell everybody is, is that it's probably the worst printer I've ever owned. And at the very least, the worst printer ownership experience. Uh, from papers jamming, and I use good quality paper, to uh, the constant resetting of itself, calibrating line feed, uh, recharging the print heads, which seems to be a fairly common occurrence after you print a page or two. Uh, I buy the high capacity uh, ink cartridges uh, and uh, I'm lucky to get 200 pages of regular print out of it. And uh, I think that's due to the fact that it's constantly just, you know, eating its own supplies up by resetting itself and cleaning or whatever it is that it does. It's a very cumbersome unit to use. Um, if you do any amount of printing, it's probably not a good idea to own one of these. As a matter of fact, it's not a good idea to own one no matter what you do because you'll spend more time trying to get it to work than actually having it work. Um, but that said, in, in an effort to try to save ink, which of course is extremely expensive, you by the time you've replaced the ink twice in one of these units, you could buy a brand new ink, uh, a new printer. Uh, I bought some ink from a company called Adaptive Ink, and I was really excited about their products. I was one of the first customers actually on eBay to buy their original product and I was excited and I thought maybe I'd solved the overall cost problems with uh, uh, ink consumption but their first product failed miserably I bought it for two computers uh, and neither one of them worked right as constantly um, dealing with with just you know uh, pages that wouldn't print right and uh, so eventually I bought a brand new set of ink cartridges put them in and they do work better that, that's a fact um, just because you know HP's got it all down, they they make sure that uh, using anything else will end up being in a very uh, unsatisfying uh, experience, even more so than the fact that the units don't work well, anyways. But that said, this latest one I bought, um, and in case any of you own these, be very careful because as you can see, I've got ink all over carpet, and I had several towels down when I was actually doing this uh, uh, this recharge because. Uh, what they do is they tout that uh, doing a recharge of these um, uh, CISS units is, is very simple and, and very easy and clean. And I would typically agree with that, but these little uh, pl uh, plastic or rubber uh, attachments here, uh, they can come loose. And I found that out the hard way, as you can see. Um, after putting about 40 to 50 milliliters of um, content into each one of the bags, as you can see, they're not overfilled. Um, each one has got approximately 50 to 60 ml in it right now. And uh, the result of my trying to fill the last one when pulling out the uh, syringe was that this popped off along with the, with the syringe as I was pulling it out. And uh, so, you know, their manufacturing process, call it bad luck or whatever, but this is the third unit that I've had of theirs that just has not worked very well. And now, um, if you don't know anything about these inks, these inks are nearly impossible to get out of this carpet. This carpet is going to have to be cleaned and at the, <laughs> that's at the very least clean and most likely replaced because I'm a tenant. So guess what? I'm going to be responsible for this. So you got to look at your overall cost factor when using CISS products and also um, be very careful about where you choose to uh, fill or refill them because this is what you're going to end up with. I was complacent and thought, you know, this is a great product, I shouldn't have any trouble with it, but sure enough, that's not how things work. And so, if this is anything, it's, it's certainly not an endorsement of this product, um, but at the same time, things do go wrong, so I can't completely hold them accountable because, you know what, I probably should have gone into the, you know, I don't know, in the garage or whatever, and uh, would have had the same issue, but at least it would have been all over concrete floor. So, you have to ask yourself, do you wanna own a product like this that first of all, makes it nearly impossible to use aftermarket inks, um, has a horrible time with picking up paper, uh, uses copious amounts of ink product, and um, if you happen to be one of the unlucky folks that actually uh, uh, uses it until the, the print head dries up, you'll be out about 80 bucks per print head, and those a lot of people don't even think about having to replace at some point. The print heads are separate from the ink cartridges, and they the life of those could be anywhere from 15,000 pages, if you're lucky to, I don't know, you maybe have to take a look at uh, the manufacturer website and find out how long they're supposed to last. But my experience is that they don't last for very long either. And so, uh, in short, I've said it a few times. I'll say it again because I'm so disappointed. Normally, I wouldn't even take the time to to do a video like this. But 
just stay away from this product and I would highly recommend that you're very careful about any of these products as well um, from CISS companies like uh, Adaptive in this case. All right, have a great day.